Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis and I'll be replying to as many comments on this video as I can. The President of the United States right now is a WWE Hall of Famer. The head of the government small business administration is the wife of Vince McMahon. We live in interesting times. But four-time WWE Raw Women's Champion Charlotte as the Secretary of Defense is a step too far. Of course Charlotte isn't really in charge of the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Navy and Air Force. She took the photo when visiting the Pentagon last night with Linda and Stephanie McMahon. That's the five-sided headquarters of the US Department of Defense Pentagon, not the Lucha Underground wrestler Pentagon. Yes, I did only include this story to make that joke. In actual noteworthy news, Pro Wrestling Sheet are reporting that WWE have officially offered new contracts to both Matt and Jeff Hardy. And all signs point to an inevitable return. Last month, just days before TNA Impact Wrestling's first set of TV tapings under the new creative direction of Jeff Jarrett, the Hardy Boys announced they were leaving the promotion, feeling disrespected when contract negotiations broke down. Pro Wrestling Sheet were first to report back then that the Hardys were in talks with WWE. But that very weekend, both Matt and Jeff appeared at a Ring of Honor show and won the Tag Team Championships. It seemed as though the potential WWE return wasn't happening. But it's since come out, the Hardy's ROH deal is only a short-term contract. An imminent WWE return is very much possible. But there's a catch. Just hours before their first title defense at ROH's excellent 15th anniversary show, TNA owners Anthem Sports and Entertainment sent cease and desist letters about Matt and Jeff using the Broken Hardy's gimmick. Anthem claimed to own the intellectual rights to the characters, and a bitter legal battle has ensued between the two sides. Matt recently broke his silence over the dispute. My soldiers have been loyal and supportive, throughout my existence, thank you. They know the truth that the broken universe is my property. There's no word yet on whether WWE would let Matt and Jeff portray their broken characters, but that's something which seems increasingly less likely with the legal struggle over who owns the gimmick. The Hardys are defending the ROH Tag Team Championships against the Young Bucks at next Saturday's Supercard of Honor show in Lakeland, Florida. An hour away from where WrestleMania is taking place, the following night. This week's episode of Raw dropped almost 200,000 viewers from last week, ending with an average of 3.048 million. A very disappointing figure considering it's the penultimate episode before their biggest show of the year. And it didn't fare well in your ratings either, as a whopping 49% of you voted the episode as poor, while 34% agreed with me at Avroge. At least we have Smackdown Live, which thanks to everybody who's donated to WrestleTalk's Patreon to reach our first goal, I will now be making weekly review videos of. The first of which is up on this very channel right now. Our latest Patreon Hall of Fame rings go to Donut Senpai. Didn't even hit the ring. Alan the Valentine Ackles. That's better. Maureen Pierce you through the heart. I'm not very good at these today. And the boss, Sasha Carcerano. Speaking of Raw, next Monday's episode will see Goldberg's current contract's penultimate date, with the final appearance being defending his Universal Championship against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 33. Sports Kida are reporting that match is no longer the show's main event, going by their source, ex-WWE writer Brian Maxwell Mann, and that it'll be replaced by Undertaker vs Roman Reigns. That is just a rumour for now, as Sports Kida haven't been very reliable in the past. The significantly more trustworthy Wrestling Observer newsletter, however, is looking ahead to after Wrestling WrestleMania and what the future holds for Goldberg in WWE. Goldberg's contract expires at WrestleMania, but the run was considered a success and the door is open to use him for big shows in the future. Also, the current plan is for Lesnar to do more shows from this point forward following his retirement from the UFC. Watch my review of this week's fantastic episode of SmackDown Live and find out how WWE will be handling Paige and Xavier Woods' leaked sex tape by clicking the videos to the left and press subscribe. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.